Uh, okay. It's recording. I'm going to teach you how to make resin blanks for uh, without a fiberglass. So, um, this is uh, you can see there's silicone right in here. So this is the silicone. There is resin, and then on top of it, there's actually Sculpey in here as well. You could actually bake the resin heads. I wouldn't bake it inside, so you just take a little toaster oven you get from Goodwill or something, and you just stick it outside, and you could bake it on there. But I actually recommend um, using the uh, uh, resin sculpt. So, yeah, this head is fiberglass. Hitting it smacking it and I'm doing stuff to it like I, I could just take this and drop kick it but I don't want it to get dirty and there is a chicken hi chicken chicken's gonna help anyway um so I start out with uh this is a Mardi Gras mask over like a little head base right here and um I just take uh potter's clay you could get over at uh Michael's for like 20 bucks and you sculpt what you want on top of this so this is the uh, resin uh, cast that I made, but the original sculpture would look like this. And then what you do is you cover it. This is regular old silicone. This is five bucks over at Home Depot. You cover it with the silicone. So there you go. You got your silicone thing and there is clay underneath. This isn't clay. I don't have the clay sculpture because what's the next step after you do that is you stick this in water and all the clay comes out. So after this is all dried, all the clay comes out. And then you've got to, see this right here? These are where you put your eyes. you got to put like blobs right here so that you, when you paint all the uh, resin and you paint all around. So, what we do with the resin, after we do this, is uh, also, uh, you always remember use uh, silicone because silicone does not stick to the resin. See how easily that comes right pot? That's how easy it is to get this out of this. But you gotta soak it in water first because that makes it so much easier. Um, especially the first time because you're gonna have a little bit of clay and all in it. So you want to soak it overnight. Uh, the second time you use the mold, um, it's gonna be so much easier. Uh, so you can just soak it for an hour. So I'm getting rid of all of this crap. And also I'm outside because this stuff makes fumes. Now, afterwards, you gotta let it degas, and that usually takes a few days. But and I line it with silicone. Silicone degasses, and it doesn't degas over time, or it doesn't degrade over time, or anything. And there's no smell, no nothing. Um, so highly recommend silicone as the backing after you take it out. So I will take this after I smooth it out and dremel it, and then I will coat it all in silicone, all on the inside. So it gives it a bit of a give. So if you Let's say I take this and someone just smacks me in the face with an iron rod. Um, it'll crack this part underneath the fur, but it will not break because you've got the silicone underneath it. And so that, that gives it a nice give. Um, these things are really tough. So, okay, now I've got one all cleaned out. Get rid of the little bits. Just smack it. Okay, so yeah, this is about 10 bucks to get over at Home Depot. Uh, you're gonna run out of the hardener, so I go buy another one. This is five bucks. So this is 10, 15, 60, 70, 80, 90, 20, 20. I'm not very good at math. Um, and then on top of that, that's uh, $20 for the clay. So that's $40 for a, uh, to make a blank and to make tons of heads. Like this right here, this 10 bucks, this will make like three or four heads. So, just take this, just pour it in here. I drilled a hole at the top because uh, I left this out in the sun and I couldn't get the cap off. That's a big problem. Just take it inside. Don't leave this shit out in the sun. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because it's, it also depends on, um, if it's really hot outside, put like five drops. See, this is how much you should put in here. This is silicone, I got this at the dollar store. Uh, this one I found at Goodwill. This is a silicone brush. This is nice. I'm just pulling off the rest of the silicone. Because I just finished that other head. Yeah. It's 
So take this, mix it all around, make sure it's all mixed in. And this right here, you gotta make sure, like this is really thick with silicone, so I'm not worried too much about it uh, warping or anything. Um, but when I initially first did it, I accidentally, it's warped, so I have to uh, use epoxy sculpt to fix it. You could also use uh, uh, Sculpey, but uh, hot glue does not really adhere very well to Sculpey. So your fur is going to flake off if you don't do that right. Um, you could, you could uh, sand it down to make it not do that. So I'm just coating the inside. you got to do this about like four or five different times. And you got to let it dry. That's about it. Alright, so that's about it. Thank you.